Assalamualaikum and good day student um, We will have our Backdraft uh, basic tutorial eh? So let's see the question over here um, From the question There is a Okay, I see the picture over here. Okay, this is the uh, input pulley. This is the output pulley. Given the input pulley is rotating about 3550 RPM, and then given the diameter about 120, and then the output pulley is given as a 240 uh, mm diameter. So let's find the output uh, operating speed and then the belt speed first from the uh, velocity ratio so this is the velocity ratio equation so we just uh, put in all the data and then you get the uh, rotation of the output pulley is equal to 1775 rpm and then uh, the belt speed by using the formula of uh, V equal to R omega, you can simply get this uh, velocity of uh, <coughs> of the belt is around 22.3. So this is the uh, radius of uh, pulley 2. Uh, and then the, this is the RPM of uh, pulley 2, which is 1775. Okay, and then you will get this uh, velocity of the belt. Okay, um, example number two. There is a motor right over here. Eh? There is a motor over there. So the electric motor is running at 3000 RPM. And then uh, given that the pulley, uh, pulley at motor is a 200 mm uh, radius. Eh, sorry, 20 mm uh, radius. Uh, and then uh, the output at fan here is uh, 80 mm radius they are, they are asking to to get the velocity ratio the operating speed of uh, fan and then the uh, belt speed so it is a simple question over there um, velocity ratio uh, using r1 over r2 and then you get a 0 0.25 so um, operating speed, the operating speed means the fan speed. So from this uh, ratio of uh, radius and uh, rotation, so you may get the answer of uh, rotation of fan. So this is the rotation of fan, 750 RPM. <coughs> and then uh, the belt speed, so find the belt speed use back the equation of V equal to R omega so R is the radius of uh, this fan and then if you see over here this is uh, the, uh, the data the input the value of uh, round per minute of the uh, fan belt eh? or of, of the pulley sorry of the pulley of the fan line actually is a uh, 750 so you get the answer is 6.28 meter per second okay let's go to example number three example number three uh, this is uh, still an open belt eh? an open belt given this is motor actually this is the motor so this is the input lah, eh? input motor okay given the top or moment at the motor over here at the pulley motor over here is equal to 4 newton meter and then uh, also given here the coefficient of friction between belt and uh, uh, pulley is 0 0.3 so what else um, okay dimension given dimension of the pulley is the same okay, dimension of the pulley is the same 50 mm radius the other side also 50 mm radius so the question is asking you to find the t t and ts t tension tension at the uh, tension side and then tension at the slack side okay 
this is uh, we consider that this is a flat belt all right by considering the the flat belt so uh, but before that um, since the diameter of the pulley is the same so the angle of contact is uh, beta is equal to 180 so you know that just now this is given moment top at this uh, pulley is given as 4 newton meter and then coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 okay since uh, this is a flat belt uh, this is a flat belt so we may use the this equation this equation and then uh, by rearranging the 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 equation uh, you you just uh, put in the this is the uh, friction uh, coefficient of friction 0 0.3 and then this is uh, angle of contact which is uh, 100 is actually uh, equal to to pi because this is we must put in in radian okay <coughs> Then uh, from there, so we simplified the equation and then uh, we left, we left out, we, we uh, assume that this is uh, equation number one. Uh, from the uh, moment given at the pulley B, so it stated that just now moment or torque given as a 4 newton meter, and then you know that torque is actually equal to. Uh, force times R or tension the resultant tension times the radius of the pulley so here uh, torque is actually uh, equal to TT minus TS then only you times the, the radius because you want to see the resultant tension of the belt okay uh, we still don't know the uh, maximum tension and the slack tension but anyway, we just put in the radius first, which is 0 0.05. And then we know that the top occur at the pulley is 4. So this is equation number 2. And then uh, just put equation 1 into 2. Uh, this equation 1, and then we put into 2. And then we will get the uh, another equation, which is uh, something like this. By solving the equation, then we will uh, get the answer of uh, TS equal to 51.07 newton and then tt is equal to 131.07 this is tension at the slack side this is tension at the uh, tight side at, at the tight side all right so uh, example number four this is another example so example number four is uh, the first uh, the first one we are using uh, 60 degree groove uh, fan belt eh? so this, this one is actually the v belt eh? the v belt so this is the v belt and then given the maximum uh, tension so maximum tension is 800 so when when we talk about maximum tension then it is actually the uh, t t eh? uh, uh, tension at the tight side and then given the coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.25 so the question is asking you to to get the um, the maximum possible top uh, they're asking you to get the maximum possible top so what is the maximum top that can 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 be produced uh, can be transferred by the uh, belt system over here okay let's see uh, simplify the the diagram over here so this is a pulley h eh? pulley h over here and then this is actually the same diameter so the pulley is in the same diameter so given just now the groove angle is 60 degree which is uh, groove angle is actually equal to alpha so um given the pulley uh, radius is 500 M, and then this side also 500 mm and then uh, let's say I put it over here the maximum uh, tension of the tight side is uh, 800 just now given and then we don't know this one TS is how much the slack side from uh, since the diameter the pulley diameter is the same 
so the uh, angle of contact is uh, 180 degree eh? the beta is 180 degree so this is the uh, groove angle so using the equation of uh, B belt V belt so this is the one and then uh, rearrange the equation because we don't know the TS eh? TT we know this is uh, 800 then you just uh, you just uh, put in all the data 800 is the uh, maximum tension 0 0.25 is the coefficient of friction uh, pi pi is the invariant eh? 180 degree this is the one the angle of contact and then uh, this is in this is the uh, groove angle eh? the groove angle of the pulley and belt so you'll get uh, 166.3 so um, the question is asking you to get the torque or moment so you know that torque is equal to uh, resultant tension eh? resultant tension of the belt times the uh, radius of pulley so here the resultant tension you you may get it from uh, tt minus ts so when you times the radius of uh, pulley then you'll get the uh, moment or torque so here we are and then uh, you'll get the uh, answer of uh, 31.685 uh, newton meter so that's all guys for today thank you very much